Hi, Scorpio. Let us see the month of May. We're going to do this monthly energy here. So we've got Neptune, 10th house, and Capricorn energy. Wow. So you... You are you don't know who you are, Scorpio. So the thing that's good about this energy is you are searching for who you want to be and how you want to show up in the world. So this could have to do with career. Tenth house matters are usually, you know, career, but it's also your status. Okay? And sometimes relationships with certain people authority figures as well but this is about you finding your personal authority and i see that you are growing in that so if you have to fake it till you make it this is actually supported <laughs> okay uh the other thing that may not be so comfortable with this is well it's a change it's growth growth is not always easy this would require that Scorpio steps out of their comfort zone and does something entirely different. Okay. So you have limitless potential here. That's number one. Number two, are you being true to yourself? Are you who you say you are and how to come back into alignment with who you really are? Cause you're going to have to show up this way. Now you're being pressured by the planets. Yeah. Exciting. Let's see here. <laughs> Show me Scorpio and the overall energy for the month. I pulled this deck for some reason. If it's not working, I'm going to pick something else. And that's how I feel like you should feel too. That's a message for you. If something is not working, pick something else. Especially if you try it and you know, no, nah, this is not, it's not it. It's not for me, right? You can pick something else. You have Neptune here. This is very nebulous energy, though. So, wow, Scorpio, your energy is cheetah. Fire energy. What are you chasing here? So, I'm also getting not only what are you chasing, but what are you running from? Are you running from something? We're going to look at that. And the beneficial supportive energies for the month of May for my dear Scorpio. The firefly. Okay, I'm going to take this for a moment's time, exactly what the firefly does. This is about an inspiration that hits, and when the moment comes on, act on it. So I feel like you could be gunning after something that you see for yourself. You see it. And you need to act when, like, strike when the iron's hot. Okay, so the beneficial supportive energies for Scorpio in the month of May. Lion, you are, wow, very feline. Do you also resemble a feline? You know, high cheekbones and kind of like the upward slanted eyes. You may have this kind of aesthetic or a vibe. And it could be even your hair. You could be doing something about your hair. There's changes to your appearance is what I'm picking up. But the thing is, especially with the Neptune energy, that means that you can, yeah, fake till you make it, okay? This is beneficial for acting or playing the part. Fire. Lots of fire. Wow. Beneficial energy is fire. Lion. There could be a Leo involved. You could be dealing with a lot of fire signs, but this is a lot of impulsivity and spontaneity in a good way. So let's see the not so beneficial, something that needs to come into balance, something that's not supportive to you. Okay, more fire. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, you got whale. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Scorpio, some adjustments are required. And here we are attempting to make an adjustment here with the view, right? This is a message, Scorp. Let me tell you, this month for you, you have so much potential 
to show up in the way that you've been needing to for a very long time. And you will have opportunities to do so. The fact that you have so many fire elements coming into this is letting me know you are going to be very fast paced, quick, and also impatient. There is like a rushing of an energy because you're going to feel very heated and passionate and inspired. And it's coming from an emotional experience, actually. This is also talking about how much spiritual growth you have at your fingertips in the month. And you're going to need to pay attention to that because... When we talk about whale energy, this is the most in-depth emotional experience in this deck. If I'm not mistaken, that's what this is. And the whale talks about people who have gone to the depths, the absolute depths of things. And they've experienced so much, but are also very valuable because of that. It's about someone who's overcome so many challenges and brings about a, an understanding that is deemed as rare in people. So because of this, you have been enriched, you have cultivated strength. This is a strength, but it may not feel like it. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to need you to watch that energy because from this depth, because this is what you could even be running from is what I'm getting. Maybe you're running from some experiences that are coming up with this fire ant. And when you have ants in your pants, right, they could be biting and causing maybe inflammation. That's exactly what this looks like. So you have potential to be on the good side and the bad side of this, as, as with any energy. That's just what it is. And so you're going to have to find a way to really take care of yourself and be very mindful of the energies you're dipping in and out of in the month because you may be highly reactive and you could feel as though people are doing this to you as well. So you could be on either side of that and it may go back and forth. You could be tossing this ping pong ball of irritation, anger, uh, bad mouthing, gossiping back and forth. So just keep an eye on how your self-care game is in the month, okay? These energies talk about finding some solo time, especially if you're a Scorpio who's around a lot of moving energies in the month. You find that you're around a lot. You may need some solo time to recharge. You may need a reflective point, some space to be able to reflect on your situation to really feel through things and see what comes up and not just stuff them down. Because that's exactly the reason that this would be happening in the first place. The anger and the outbursts. Yeah. You're going to find that if you are having outbursts, it's because you're stuffing something down. Okay. So you're going to have to find a very careful balance in your self-care game and what that looks like for you. I know the aunt talks about like taking walks. And I believe at night, actually. So I don't know if you're into that or if it's safe at all because it's going to be different for everybody. But it's more so just finding a meditative space and a, and a point of reflection and maybe getting into some spiritual practice here. Let me tell you this. You have the most humongous opportunity this month to gain people's respect. And this could be something that you feel has been denied. This is a regal energy. It's knowing that you deserve to be in charge of your own life, not necessarily have these ants coming toward you and trying to dictate how you experience your experience. Yeah, your day to day experience. Okay. 
Wow, Scorpio. I feel like I've been kind of telling you this here and there, but you may need to find, you know, especially with the whale, it's like all this fire is just burning up this emotion. And it could be experienced this way where something very deep is coming out. But you have to be careful to not run from this. You have to be able to be with and be with yourself in that way. Because the, the key here is your relationship to yourself, Scorpio. Am I missing a card here? Am I really grabbing this deck? Interesting. Okay. I don't usually, I don't usually grab this deck, but let's see. Where's Scorpio in this cheetah? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you, yeah. This is a... Uh, wow. You have opportunities coming in. You want to act on them fast. This is coming from a place of lack. Maybe you are experiencing a little bit of a lack mentality or energy around you. Here's the Five of Wands. Yeah, this is why you'll be acting in the month because there's something that you know you need and you want from this space. So... Mother of Cups. Wow. See, Scorpio, you have suppressed your emotional energy. With this Four of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups, here's the tower, and it's going to explode on out of you. Yeah. See, you will move forward in a powerful way if you can manage this. Where's Scorpio in this energy? From that emotional depth, that very rare understanding you can reach a point of creation zero point energy right here seven of cups you're the seven of cups yeah and why is this upside down the eight of wands okay quick fast-paced energy a lot of confusing emotions a lot of distractions a lot of um, I like this, I like that, I need this, I need that. And I don't want these things or these relationships, these items even, okay? You, you got to clear this emotional uh, jumbled energy even. Why is Scorpio in the Seven of Cups? Because of judgment. Wow, that's it. You're done. Something you've been mulling over or thinking about, Father of Pentacles, you've been thinking about uh, you've been needing to act on this for a while, but you're finally going to come to a decision. This is a starting point for you, especially with the judgment. It's a rebirth. And I feel like that's exactly what this is. So you're kind of purging all these old, you know, energies you may not even want to be dealing with. It's been sitting deep within you. It has to come out. It has to be, you need to find some expression, some kind of outlet here because this is like a portal for you. It's a threshold. It's a new doorway that's opening Scorpio. Let me see this beneficial energy here. Yeah, you're going to be a little scattered at times, but keep in mind what your ultimate goal is. And maintain that connection with self in the month. Okay, check in with self in any moment possible very often. Okay, let's see this lion. Why is a lion beneficial for Scorpio? Is it a bat? It's a hangman. Okay. Strength. Wow. 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 Lion and strength. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay, you're showing up in a brand new way. That's the thing. You can create whatever you want. It's really there within reach. It's at your fingertips, but you need to believe that in yourself. Okay. Because here you are understanding worth and value within yourself, your power, and you're going to be making power moves. You will I'm hearing domineer respect. Wow, you may need to bite back if someone bites you, okay? If it's a one, two, three time thing, that's it, right? Could be stepping on toes kind of energy. So why, where's Scorpio in this lion? 
You're the eight of cups. No more waiting. The two of cups. You could be disconnecting from certain people. Yeah, we talked about this. You have realized that there's something you've been sitting on and it's really not worth that anymore. You're wasting your time. It's time to go. Where's Scorpio headed here? Magician. Wow, man. Nine of cups. That's wish fulfillment. Here's the thing. You're going to realize you don't care about something that you were trying to convince yourself you did. You may also realize certain energies around you are not supporting you the way that you thought they did. So your beneficial energy here is creating a wish fulfillment from this space. The magician, hello, the magician has all the tools that they need, like I told you, at your fingertips, okay? But again, you have to believe that because you've learned all you can from where you are with the hangman. You've seen it for what it is. You have that clarity now. Don't second guess that with the hangman. You see an exit strategy. You see this, you see the portal coming in for you to step into a new experience. What is this uh, fire ant? Why is this not beneficial for Scorpio? Nine of swords. Wow. Yeah, and that's torment, you know? Exactly what it is. There's torment. And it could be, you know, maybe you're feeling it's coming from the outside. But actually, Scorpio, I'm going to need you to check within too. Because you could be experiencing things that you yourself is telling you. Your stories are repeating from inside of you. Okay. Nine of swords. You, yeah, Scorpio, mind your mental, mental health a lot. Because things are going to happen quickly and you may need to find some downtime. Wow, the five of swords. Yeah, this is, this is cruelty. There's cruelty around. There's cruelty around. Okay. Understand how you've been cruel to yourself as well. Where's Scorpio in this? Mother of Swords. Well, damn. That's what I'm saying. Because you're feeling this angst, this uh, hasty energy, like you need to go and you need it now. And you, you needed to do this a long time ago even. Because you're feeling that and you feel maybe behind, you're going to be very reactive of some old stuff that you've been carrying and this is how you're coming up too. You're coming up is just straightforward. You could cut with your words. You have to mind this here because your emotions and your mental health appears to be out of balance. And sure, maybe you are dealing with the cruelty around. That's not what I'm saying. You have the six of swords. Exactly. You're going to need to find, like I said, give us a one card of advice here for Scorpio. In that energy right there. Son of Wands. It's the Knight of Wands. Okay. Yeah, Temperance on the bottom. This is Sagittarian energy. Do you see how colorful this is? Your advice is to temper your energy. Become the Temperance card. Okay. Temperance is the alchemist. It's turning something really crappy into something beautiful and glorious. You have the ability to do that, but you need to make sure that you're good first, okay? Because I feel like you're making this worse for yourself as well. I mean, you could be experiencing some things, but you're not making it better when you move into this Nine of Swords, Mother of Swords, Ant energy. All right? So temperance is about patience. And like I said, I mean, I've been telling you this entire reading, you need to find somewhat of a, a peaceful energy at times. Try to fit it in in your day, in your schedule somehow. Find that. All right. That is your advice. And the Eight of Pentacles, proper planning. You may need some proper planning, Scorpio, because this spider web here talks about that, like carefully managing things. This could also help to make you less reactive. Fill your schedule with the way that you need your weeks to go, the month to go, the day to go even. 
because then you won't feel this rush or this haste and you won't fall behind. But also make sure to schedule in those things that make you feel good, body, mind, and spirit. You know, yoga is one of those things that helps you connect breath, movement, and your mental space. Okay. That yoga is a really connected experience. It's just a suggestion. You could get into whatever you want to, but yeah, make sure to schedule that in there. Let me pull you a moon card. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Yeah. How do you want to show up? We started the reading like this. Who are you? Are you lying to yourself about who you are and what you need? Because now you can be authentic. Like I said, there's a spiritual growth aspect to this, but it will also change the way that you show up in reality and you need to. Okay, nothing will come of this situation. Why is this not focusing? Exactly, because it's confusing, because it's hazy, it's cloudy. Something that you are confused about, where you realize here it's not for you. That's what this whole energy is. It's actually supportive to you that you, you branch out here. A personal issue reaches resolution. So we've got void, of course, we've got full moon and cancer and full moon. Yeah, this is an ending. You've reached that point where you just can't sit around anymore. You've learned all you can. You peeped it. You see it for what it is. All right. So I see you, especially a personal issue, very close energies here. Make sure not to dwell on things if you have the opportunity. Okay, because it could be that there's something still needing expression or a release in some way or an integration, but make sure that you're not also like holding very tightly this energy because that's where this explosiveness comes in. Interesting too, because you're using this experience to fuel your fire. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Feel free to check your other place and I'll see you next time.